Hey, what up, fam? It's Joe Mill here, back with Killer Miller Q, and today we're gonna do a quick cook. I'm firing up the old Weber grill, finally getting my chance to try out these old butterfly chicken drumsticks. Let's get right to it. Let's go. So now we got these old chicken legs sitting out here starting from the beginning nothing crazy one thing i do like about this idea of this cook is these babies are super cheap to get i actually had some already in the freezer so i brought them out got them cleaned up took a second to pat all the water off of them so they're ready to go now and we can get into it so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna find like what i would think is the back side which to me is my pretty side more of the meats up there this is gonna be the side i'm gonna split open we're gonna split the line directly down to the bone, then another line off to the side of the bone, and another line off to the side of the bone. We're gonna fan these babies out, and what it's gonna help us do is get a lot more surface area. We'll cook out a lot of the stuff that I don't like in the actual leg, and when you do those chicken lollipops, when you take out all of that stuff, a lot of that's gonna get cooked out. We're gonna expose that. You should also get a lot more surface area to get some more char, and overall, they should cook a little bit faster and be good. I heard they're pretty decent. So I'm looking forward to trying these, super easy. Um, let's get started. I'm gonna grab my knife, one cut straight down the middle, one off to the side, one off to the side, we'll fan game. Pretty simple. I mean, that took me all of maybe 30 seconds. Uh, one thing that you can do is while you got this exposed, you can get rid of anything here that you don't like. So I'm gonna snack out, uh, I'm gonna snag out these uh, tendons and I'll plop these out. And uh, that's basically all I'm gonna do. So this shouldn't take me too long to go ahead and knock out another one. There we go. Nothing much, I'm not taking everything out. I don't wanna go too crazy, but you can if you want. I'll do the same thing. Flip him over, straight down to the bone, and then right on the side of each side of this bone, and just fan him out a little bit, just so you be like that. And I tell you, I had to bring you back, uh, almost got these done, and quickly I kind of developed a different technique. Instead of going to the one to the middle, it's kind of look good on both sides. I'm gonna go right here. Um, instead of doing the one to the middle, which you just end up going right on the bone, which is hard, for me, you can pretty easily find out where the bone is at. Instantly, I started right on the side and do the one slit open it up from there and then get in there and get that other side and kind of really open it up and then just kind of release this bone right here at the knuckle and that seems to work with good with uh being able to kind of get these nice and wide and open and uh my bat wings is open easy enough there go those chicken legs nice and spread open and butterfly a little bit of the tendons and stuff that i kind of took out like i said don't got to go too crazy that stuff's gonna burn up now that you got everything exposed and basically all you're doing is exposing this bone right slit on one side slit on one side open it up right here on the sides kind of spread that baby open as far as you can and then uh you should be good to go so the next thing i'm about to be doing is i'm coming over the top with a little bit of oil you can use whatever kind of cooking spray that you might have uh, non-stick normally i got a different olive oil or that i like to use the uh, avocado spray but right now that's going to work good for me from there we're going to spray both sides i'm going to be starting it with a nice little bit of this uh hickory smoked salt just a little bit and then we coming in with some of this old bearded butchers hollywood blend it's got a beautiful color a little bit of sugar on there it should really finish us off to be something nice so first things first let's get them sprayed we're gonna start on the other side we will season this side first and then they'll be able to kind of hang out while this fire comes on up the temp all right nice and sprayed and with this hickory salt which i don't gotta i guess i got another one smoke salt in there uh, you don't need a whole lot i just want to get a little bit of salt on there and so it'll give us a little bit of smoke flavor we are seasoning nice and high i uh, just need to get a little bit there we go and then we're gonna come right with that hollywood blend next it's got a great seasoning and flavor to it um, there is a little bit of sugar in this rub as you see it starts right off telling you cane and brown sugar along with garlic so it's more flavorful so that's why i want to get a little salt on there but overall this is going to give us a beautiful color I'm hoping for a beautiful flavor. Oh, excuse me. Let me bring you up here into the party. Get us a little bit all over. It's a beautiful day. A little bit of rain in the air. And that's going to be all right. And that's it. 
Nothing too crazy. Let me flip these babies over and let's get to the other side. All right, I had to take a second. What I would suggest was, I took a second to go ahead and adjust my skin. You know, once you start cooking this thing, it's gonna look exactly where you started. So get your skin pulled up nice and tight. Make sure they're nice and fanned open. And uh, now we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Nice and light with the uh, smoked, uh, smoked salt here. And we're gonna give us a nice little bit of a base. Bye, bye, bye. Just wanna touch them. Like I said, ooh, hit a little bit on that one. My other rub doesn't have as much salt in it, so I feel pretty decent about the combining of these two rubs, especially on something like chicken. You always gotta salt some chicken. All right, with a little bit of that Hollywood over the top. I'm gonna let this hang out just like you see. I'm gonna put this top on. That's one thing I do like about using this old uh, barbecue tub. I'm just gonna pull up these sides, throw the top on, let it hang out. I got my uh, fire over here. We're gonna be cooking along today, like I said earlier, over here on the old 70th uh, edition Weber kettle. And I'm gonna be using some uh, Kingsford that wifey grabbed for me, crowd them on sale for $4, can't beat that. Now one thing to know, um, and I've used some of these before, different flavor. We'll see how these basil, basil, sage, and thyme ones uh, taste. Those are what the flavor cubes look like. And then the rest of that is it's mixed in there with just regular charcoal. So I took the time when you are uh, pouring out and I'm getting my fire started to take out those out of my charcoal chimney because there's no need of me just getting the neighborhood smelling all good for no reason. And then I'll be using those flavor bombs as I'm kind of going along with getting this baby fired up. And basically what we're going to do is we got both of these pans going to be right there in the middle. We got chicken going along the outside. Let's get it rolling. Hey team, I want to jump in here real quick and let you know thanks for following along on today's cook. If you're new to the channel, go to the bottom right corner. Make sure that you subscribe. Check out all the other videos you've missed. And for everybody else, if you haven't already, find me on the rest of my social sites, Facebook, IG, and TikTok. All right, they've been sitting for a little bit. Let's get this care package open. There these babies are. It's about time to introduce them over there to the smoke. I added a couple of them flavor bombs in there so they're getting a little bit of smoke kicking up. Let's get to the grill. And we on. As you can see, we didn't kicked up to about 400 degrees. I'm pretty much open all the way. I'm gonna give it a little cut back. I like being able to slide those uh, middle baskets into the middle, still cooking indirect. Got the old legs spread out, butterfly over to the side. And then what I'll be doing is coming in periodically to kind of move where that actual vent is at from that position over here. And we'll just kind of work our way around the clock just to kind of smooth move some of that smoke around. As you can see those flavor ones are on there. So I'm gonna hurry up and get this covered up. But uh, we're gonna let these roll for a little bit before we end up flipping to the opposite side, getting some color over there, and then uh, we're gonna finish these babies off with a treat. All right, 10 minutes in, I don't expect nothing major. See, we holding temp real nice at that 400 degrees. Didn't take that much on the charcoal. So that's one thing y'all love. Already starting to see some good color coming in on these babies. As we are getting around the corner, I'm not gonna mess with them too much. I see some friends joined them. Don't you worry too much about those. We're gonna stick on these right here. And uh, all I'm about to do is rotate my hood from here to, let's go to this side first, right there. And we'll let it rock for another 10 minutes and come back and check it out. All right, 20 minutes in, let's see where we at. Kicked up just a tad, still uh, what, four, about four ten-ish, something like that. I ain't too mad, we'll get us some nice crispy crisp crisp. They looking good. I was curious if I'm almost to the point where I'm ready to flip, but uh, let's see. Nope, I'm gonna go a little bit longer. I see another 10, still doing good on this fire. Love it, love it. Look at that color we getting, look at that color we getting. Mm -mm -mm. All right, another 10 minutes is gone by. I'm starting to drop a little bit of temp, so that means I need to throw me at least another uh, couple pieces of the uh, flavor booster in there you see we kind of moving around the clock so next time we'll see it we'll put it over there but uh let's take a peek and see what we got uh, oh yeah we starting to get the color now that's what i was looking for check it out it's getting there close and we're up staying on there nice and pretty so i'm gonna give them a quick little spray 
That'll help that skin crisp up and we'll flip these babies over and we'll keep it going. And my little side treats back there, we'll keep it going. But yeah, you can see I'm getting a little light on my coals, so I tossed a couple of those in there too. So this is what they look like once I got them flipped around. And uh, like we said, it definitely start cooking up a lot faster with them being all butterflied open like that. You can already see that they kind of, you know, here goes one of those like tendons and everything. Them, them babies are exposed now, so they don't really got nowhere to go. So what I'm actually going to do, since I actually started temping them through, um, a lot of them was giving me already around 175-ish. I had one that's 169. That was a little bit lower, so I put it down here, which seems to be the hotter spot. And uh, kind of move these over here. I'm going to get a couple of these going direct fire right over the top of that skin side down. This won't take long, but uh, and I won't even actually probably worry about putting no more coals in there because it looks like we're going to be able to get this thing home. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of color on these babies, a little bit of char. Let's give them, I don't know, a nice minute or so on each side. And then, uh, you know, keep an eye on them. You want to flip these babies back and forth. They won't take too long. Most of the fat is kind of burnt off of them, so I uh, shouldn't get too much flare-ups, but let me hurry up and get this closed up. All right. Let's get this baby all here. Uh huh. Lots of smoke. Lots of smoke. Oh yeah. You're not looking too bad. There we go. He got some char. Flip you back. Ooh. Flip you back. I should really be using my tongs, right? He got a little too much char, and he looking good. All right. Won't take no long time on this one at all. All right, steady rolling right along. We are sizzling, woo, smoking, choking the whole nine yards. We got these babies back flipped over. They're ready for the final application. Uh, we grab this, throw it to the side. So I grabbed a little bit of barbecue sauce. I'm believing this one is the one I gave it a little extra char, which I'm not too mad at. It's a nice, beautiful looking one. Uh, I'm gonna taste that one because I want to taste it with just no, no, no sauce on it. But these are all about to get a little bit of this uh, Capital City, some of that Mambo sauce. This is the mild one right here. I already used my hot, but I'm going to give it a little bit of color, paint a little bit of this on, nothing too crazy. And uh, we're going to make these babies look nice and pretty. Go. Make sure you get all them nooks and crannies. I'm going to let these hang out for just a little bit. Remember, this is a nice hot fire, so you don't want these to be sitting out here too long. But I want that to kind of get tacked up. You about to come off, and we're going to get a quick little taste of you. We're going to let you cool off for a second. And uh, these sausages are starting to uh, look just about the way I want them to look. So we're going to get these up off of here in a second, too. All right, you got a little second to chill. And while I got a second, let's get into this baby and try out my little crispy friend here that got a little extra char on him right there, which I actually like me some char, so we're going to be all right. Mmm. You see the bite through. That's got a great flavor. You can actually taste that smoke too, coming off the um, that salt. Oh, that's that's really good. Another bite. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. And that works out real nice. That's just been a couple about five minutes, but not so hot in here now. Hello, babies. You hear everything in here just screaming back. Come on. Right, we'll go ahead and flip these babies over. Let's get some barbecue sauce on the other side. They still don't got the crisp that I want, but they're gonna have a little bit more time. Yes, yes, five more minutes. We'll get these babies off. We got that uh, mambo sauce over there, nice and golden looking with that little bit of char up underneath there with just one more flavor. I tell you what, the wing I just had or the, the leg I just had was fire, and the best part was that part that I had was right there. So at the end of the day, man, don't be afraid to put some of that char on there. As long as you don't burn your meat, that char got that flavor on it. Okay, that's been another five minutes. At the end of the day, we're looking at about a little over an hour that's been cooking. My sausages are good. If you're smart, you notice one of them babies is missing. So I know they're good. And check out these golden brown babies over here. We're losing daylight, but uh, we're looking pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. Just a kiss of that barbecue sauce that you put a little bit on the side, but I mean, it's how you like it. I don't really like my stuff too gloppy. I'm going to get these babies off here. They're going to hang out. We're going to taste one of these barbecue ones, and we out of here. Here we go. Here we go. We almost got rained out out there. I got a little wet on my chicken, but uh, as you can see, we looking wet on my chicken, all right? Can't wait to get me one of these. Like I said, the other one was great, 
I'm just gonna steal from right off the top. Got the nice crispy bottom. Could have charred him a little harder at the bottom. I ain't mad at it though. Kind of got that bat look, you know, a little shark, whatever have you. But uh, let's get a taste of this. <laughs> Perfect bite. Perfect bite through skin. Cooking at them higher temperatures to get you that bite through skin on this chicken. Mmm. I don't know if I can taste all that thyme and basil from those uh, charcoals, but I can definitely taste a little hint of smoke one way or another, which is probably from that smoked salt and that mambo sauce. Wow, good flavor. Check that out. I'm going in. Mm. Man, listen. And like always, we got that thing done. But let me tell you, can that replace me getting chicken wings as somebody that is a chicken wing connoisseur? Maybe. If so, that's a definite cheap alternative. I mean, you're talking about you can go get some drumsticks for, man, maybe 80 cents a pound, you know, 90 cents a pound, something like that. So you could definitely stack up a crowd. Uh, that's a lot faster than trying to do an actual chicken lollipop, which I love the way that those cook up. But they can be a little tedious as you start to pull that thing together. That wasn't too bad at all. Just kind of more or less making those slits, butterflying it open. Really helps it get exposed to a little bit more heat. Cooks up a little bit faster. Get you a little bit of char over the whole surface, which most people like. Uh, it's something that you can still eat really easy. But uh, it really allows it to get up to them higher temps. Expose some of those connective tissues and those tendons and stuff in there. So that stuff can get cooked out. So you can get you a nice pretty bite like I did. And um, overall, I got to say, for my first time doing those, it was super easy to do. Didn't take no time to put together that prep. And they tasted pretty damn good. So talking about kind of what we did as far as our flavor profile, one thing that I would recommend, no matter what brand you go with, I think I actually got this one. Um, initially, I had some on my barbecue box. I used all of that and ended up having to use this that I got in Prescott, uh, Arizona. But... A nice smoked salt, I think, is something good to have in your arsenal. It's so many times I'm not trying to fire up my Lone Star and I'm not doing a long cook, but you do want to get a little smoke flavor in there. Or you might be cooking in the house and you want to get a little bit of flavor. Some people are partial to going with that liquid smoke. I just don't really love using the liquid smoke. I always feel bad about it. And it's kind of just something that's like artificial. I don't know. Will it kill you? Of course not. And obviously, I probably ate a lot of things with it in there. But uh, this is another way that you can get a little bit of that smoke flavor in there without having to add in a liquid sauce, uh, a, a liquid uh, smoke or something like that. Get you some smoked salt, add that in. I was able to taste this in there as a nice little hint of that smoked salt along with those um, charcoals, which I will say with those charcoals, you know, and I've had a couple different flavors, like I was saying. Anytime you can catch some charcoals for $4, man, you can't beat that. So definitely I would do that. I like the idea that I've kind of figured out which ones had a flavor to it, making sure I'm not burning those up on the initial, uh, just getting it started uh, um, when I'm using the uh, charcoal chimney. So putting those to the side and being able to use some of those in there as I'm adding on for my cook was almost like being able to have a little flavor booster or being able to actually add in wood chips or something like that. Did I actually taste the basil and everything in there? I don't think so. But it definitely gave off a great aroma, so I'm sure it imparts some of that in there in flavor. And overall, my chicken was slamming. So whatever smoke got on there, I liked it. Uh, my Hollywood rub. You know, Bearded Butchers, not only did I meet these dudes and they was cool from Ohio, but uh, they got some pretty good rubs. This is actually one of my more favorites. It's got a lot of flavors to it. It does have a decent amount of salt or sugar in there. So that was why I kind of paired it with this salt. I'm glad I did my combo together. Ended up being perfectly, wasn't too salty at all, but it had a ton of flavor. But then I tell you, this mambo sauce, if you've never tried it and you want to get a different barbecue sauce in your life, this is a good one. I bought it in a two-pack uh, two pack that had the spicy and the mild. Uh, this mild still has a little bit of kick, but the flavor that it has is overpowering. I mean, it, it, it comes and gets you. So um, all three of these together, man, you saw my legs. They had beautiful bite-through skin. Uh, the other thing that I will say is utilizing that Weber. I really enjoy being able to put those baskets in the middle, especially like with chicken and being able to kind of put the stuff on along on the outside. It can cook indirect. They seem to do a really good job of crisping up that skin so it's nice and easy and bite through. And all of my stuff came out with a beautiful color, including my sausage. But uh, hey, we ain't talking about no sausage. Coming up, 
We got the Super Bowl around the corner. Make sure you enjoy that. I'll get you my Super Bowl cook a little bit late, but make sure you enjoy your weekend. Be safe and have you some time with the family, all right? Shouts out to my family. All my boys over there at Black Smoke Barbecue and you out there in TV land. I appreciate y'all. Until the next one, peace.